everyone, I'm Leila Milani. I'm the founder of Leila Milani Hair, and today I'm sitting with my very good friend and master hairstylist, Laura CK, who created this beautiful old Hollywood ways look for me, and we're gonna show you guys a tutorial on that right now. Okay, so first I'm gonna start with the glossy locks, and I'm gonna start by spraying it all around her hair, a little bit away from her head. I'm just gonna let it sink in, and using the miracle brush and her blow dryer, I'm gonna only blow dry her root. Now I'm not holding the blow dry too close to the brush so I don't burn off the bristles. After I'm done with that, I'm going to use the Miracle Brush and brush out her whole entire hair. Now I'm going to be using her clips, which is so adorable, and I'm going to be sectioning out her hair. The Gator Grips. Now that I'm done brushing out her hair, I'm going to be using the Big Tease Rat Tail Comb, and I'm going to section out her hair in a horizontal line. Once I made that section, I'm going to use her gator grip clip and I'm going to pin away her hair. Now that I sectioned her hair, I'm going to be using the triple thread curling iron. So now what size are you using, Laura? I'm going to be using the medium size just because the big one is going to give big curls, but I want more defined soft waves. So the one inch barrel. Yes. So we're using the one inch barrel and you're setting it to 430 degrees Fahrenheit, which is the highest level of heat on the yes. So while that's heating up, you're going to put on your safety glove because I don't want you to burn yourself. Now that it's heated up, I'm going to start by waving her hair. I usually like to take about an inch and a half section, hold it in a horizontal placement, and wrap it around carelessly around the wand. I'm wrapping it around carelessly because if I do it carefully, it's going to create curls, but whenever I wrap it around carelessly, it's going to create waves, and that's what we want. And I just hold it in my hand a little bit and I bounce it up and down just so it could cool off. Now I'm going to take the next section and continue on. As you can see, Laura is always holding the curling iron horizontally against my head and she's also always wrapping the hair over the curling iron rather than under. I'm going to take another section horizontally and now I'm just going to repeat the process. Remember, always wrap it carelessly, not carefully. The good thing about this glove is that I could actually touch the curling iron and nothing will happen to my fingertips. I'm wrapping each curl around the wand and I'm holding it for about 10 seconds since her hair is thick. Now that we're done waving this whole section, I'm going to grab the hair, wrap it around two of my fingers, and pin it with a clip just to give it more of a defined look. And I'm going to continue on with the process. So if you see that her hair is frizzing up, just take the Miracle Brush and go ahead and brush it out before we weave it. What's really wonderful about the Miracle Brush is that it not only detangles your hair, but it also adds body and shine. After weaving the last piece of this section, I'm going to be adding the 24 inch 200 gram clip-in extension just to give her end some more body. She's not going to need all seven pieces because her hair is long and full already. However, I'm going to only use two to three pieces. I'm going to open up her clips and using the big tease, I'm going to only tease the parts where the clips would be applied to. I measure it this way, I'm going to grab this section and I'm going to tease it underneath. I also tease it over just to give it more of a grip. After Laura clips in my extensions, she's going to take my curling iron and curl the hair so that it blends in with the rest of my hair. Once I'm done curling this section, I'm going to bring down the hair. I'm going to unclip the previous hair that I had clipped. You guys see how soft and defined that's looking? Now we're going to start doing her sides. It's kind of a repeat. So again, I'm going to section out a horizontal line using the big teeth. I'm going to clip the hair away from her head. Never change the direction of the wand. If you guys do so, it's going to create a circle of curl versus the wave. So you mean if you're going to curl them out, do mm -hmm. them out, you're yeah. curl them in the yeah. And since we're doing the soft look, we're curling it in. We're going to continue this process until we get to the other side. Now that we're halfway done, I'm going to be taking the Hold It Right There hairspray. I'm going to be placing it on low. And that's what I like about this product, because you're able to 
control what level you want the hairspray to blow. And I'm going to be just blowing it out. Now that we're up to the top crown area, I'm going to be sectioning your hair from the middle with her eyebrow arch and parting it the opposite way. I'm going into it about an inch. And that's because we want the real dramatic high wave, right? Mm -hmm. Since I started using it with my opposite hand, I switched the glove to my left hand. And you're only really holding each curl for about 10 seconds. If you have really thick hair or hard to curl hair, we do recommend that you keep the curling iron on the hair for a little bit longer than 10 seconds. If your hair is easy to curl, then you probably need to do it for probably under 10 seconds. Before I start waving this back section, I'm going to create some volume by using the Big Hair Don't Care powder. I'm going to take my glove off. I'm going to lift her roots and just dab a little bit on her roots. Again, you need very little of this product to create the volume that you need. I'm just going to do it one more time. And then using the Big Tease comb, I'm going to create some volume first and then continue waving. I just lightly teased it just to give it a little bit more of a secure hold. Now that we finished the last piece in the back, we're going to turn her over. And this is when it starts getting fun. We're going to start creating the whole old Hollywood look. Now that we're done waving the entire back, I'm going to brush out this whole side. I'm still taking horizontal sections. And I'm just going to wave it up as I go. I'm repeating the process only one more time and then we're going to switch it up. Now for these last four pieces, I'm going to be sectioning it a little bit different. I'm going to take one straight section and then I'm going to take another straight section and then a pie section, which is an upside down triangle. So now I'm going to do the straight section. And as I do these pieces, I'm going to be holding them up with these clips. So I'm going to be rolling it around my two fingers again, or you could even toss it up in the same motion you curled it. And I'm going to clip it. The next one's going to be a straight line as well. So I'm going to go close to the root, just to give it some more volume. Now this is where it gets exciting. I'm going to be doing an upside down triangle. You guys see that? And I don't need to clip this away anymore, I could just bring it down. I am going close to her roots. And you're doing that to give me more of a lift, right? Yes, because we want it to be very dramatic. I do clip this as well. And now for the last piece, we're just going to do the same thing. However, it created an upside down triangle, and then it created another triangle, which the pointy is to the back. Going close to the root, I'm just repeating the same steps. On this last piece, I like to hold the curling iron a little bit over 10 seconds. And now I'm going to wait a few seconds while I take off my glove and I'm going to wait for it to cool down. Bringing her entire hair to one side. Now that it's cooled down, I'm going to be opening up these clips. It doesn't have to be perfect because we're going to perfect it. Using the big hair powder, I'm going to be lifting the sections I just curled and tapping on the powder. This would actually just create its own volume if I were to like, give it some lift. However, I'm going to take the No H2O Dry Shampoo and I'm going to give it extra volume. So I'm going to be grabbing each piece that I previously curled, straining it. Using your big tees, grab, this, grab it in the same sectioning that we curled it. Over direct the hair and tease your hair. Depending on how high she wants it, you're able to create a higher lift. 
Now that we're done giving it volume, we're gonna go ahead and grab just the front piece and curl it out. So it's up and then out. I'm gonna be using the Hold It Right There hairspray on medium, and I'm gonna spray it from far. I'm gonna take my Miracle brush and I'm gonna lightly brush it out. And you're doing this to kind of give it a softer look. So I'm just brushing this away from her ear and bringing it all over to one side. Now that we're done, I'm gonna be using glossy locks to give her some shine. And this is how you create the old Hollywood glamorous look. And voila, old Hollywood waves. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions about anything you've seen in this video, please visit our website at leilamalanihair.com and I'll see you next time.